at page 120 manipulating a live filter layer mask again if you come across this on its own it's from the affinity photo workbook only i'm using the ipad to work through the exercises this one's manipulating a live filter layer mask now these are quite tricky because the ipad obviously is quite different than the desktop and the images are much smaller on the screen for obvious reasons and this one won't appear to have a great deal of effect but i'll show you how it works um, by switching on and off the layers so the first thing we've done is open the file to load masking live filter remember all these images are supplied by affinity so if you have the textbook or you can find your way to it um, you can download these images to work with from the layer menu we need to choose live filter layer and diffuse and the diffuse glow filter now you might think it's in the filter layer but it's not in the filter layer what we need here is the little thing that looks like a funnel on the right hand side we add live filters turn the live filters on and we want the a see they're alphabetical a b c d diffuse and the diffuse glow filter is that one that's right there in about the center next to the bridge you'll see when i tap it there we go now what that's done is give us the diffuse glow filter from the layers panel expand the pixel layer and select the diffuse glow layer but having first we need to set the radius down the bottom here on the on the um, the options panel set the radius to 100 we want a nice big radius um, paintbrush here the intensity slider to 5% intensity is currently 25 we oh, stay on we want it at 5% the threshold slider to 15% there we go 15% and the opacity slider to 100 okay now there's our options and this will supposedly create a warm diffusion effect on the lighter areas of the image now from the menu we're so we've selected the fuse glow layer and from the, it says in the book from the layer menu choose invert to invert the layers mask and remove the effect on the image but as we know from previous experience you don't do that what we're doing is looking at the channel studio click on that and you can see that there's a diffuse glow alpha layer there with three dots to the side of it tap on that one and then tap invert now the image has gone back to where it was we've still got the diffuse glow layer selected now we need the paintbrush tool left hand side paintbrush tool and because we're going to paint in the mask that we want You've got to select white not painted out is black painted in is white so we've now got the paintbrush white set to 600 and now paint over the building road and traffic lights to reinstate the diffuse glow effect in those areas so we're only going to paint over you can see where the where the blue dot is moving up and down and that puddle is now being diffused slightly you can see that i know it's not very clear and you're thinking mm -hmm. why what is this why am i not seeing anything clearly here but i'll show you in a moment i'll just paint over that quite a bit so we know it's got the job done and the diffuse glow effect is applied so let's just click on the view tool 
And believe it or not, there is a glow on that. And I can show you this by turning it off and on. Off. And you can see, particularly down here, where the glow on the road appears. If I turn it back on, off, on, off, on, and the bridge itself, you can see that glow effect. So it's very subtle, but it is there. Remember those, remember the location of those things. Is the channel studio and the adjustment studio and so on. Okay, that's all there is to manipulating a live filter layer mask. Experiment with that. Have fun.